Well, a new era is set to begin with UAB Athletics as we get ready to turn the calendar over to a new month. July 1st, the Blazers officially become a member of the American Athletic Conference. And look who's uh, in studio to talk about the AAC. Mark Ingram, yeah. Director of Athletics over at UAB. What an exciting time, huh? Yeah, we're really excited, <laughs> Sheldon. Thank you for having me. I mean, yeah, Saturday, July 1, here it comes. And uh, we've been making a lot of strides and making a lot of improvements and benchmarking ourselves against those existing members, and uh, we're ready to go. What have you been doing? What have you and your staff been doing to prepare for this time? Yeah, you know, we're trying to see what are those differences, right? Mm -hmm. What are the things that make us different than, different than, say, Memphis or SMU, the other members of the league that have had success, and what do we need to do, whether it's facilities or increasing our staffing and in what areas? So it's yeah. been exciting. Well, when you look at this, what happens next, really, when it happens July 1st? What happens at that time? <laughs> well, you know, we, we, are, we have been preparing like we're in it for quite <laughs> right, some time. Right. So it's not like, it's a, maybe it's like Y2K. July 1st is going to come, and it'll be like Y2K, and, and then there you are. But uh, our, our student athletes have been locked in, focused on the opponents they're going to face next year, and coaches preparing. So... Yeah, yeah. We, we know that the opponents uh, uh, are going to be tougher and stuff like that. But did you see anything within your department when you're looking at these other schools that you guys are a lot closer facility wise than than you might have thought? Oh, very much so. Listen, we're a lot closer than we are far apart. And, right. and that was uh, exciting to see. And I think had a lot to do with how we got the invitation, quite frankly. Yeah. You know, our football stadium may be the nicest in the country. I mean, I know Protective Stadium isn't the largest, but it is incredibly nice for those of you that haven't been and and hope that you will join us and our practice facility is fantastic we're as good or better than anybody in the american conference already so really good things yeah well football and basketball will usually get a lot of this but this really helps those uh second tier if i want to call them that sports our olympic sports uh, we've had good success there in uh, volleyball and softball and soccer and and uh, men's and women's golf and we've had a lot of good years and a lot of other things too and and you're right to that point the more success we have across the board success breeds success yeah uh, also you've established some programs to get you ready the program up thing talk about that you guys are trying to get things going right? oh power up power you know up, yeah it's it. just an initiative to hey we're just trying to increase our membership our season <laughs> ticket base and uh, get the community rallied and excited about it and and help us be ready you know power up like a video game Right. Our kids get those power ups and uh, when they're playing video games. And so, yeah, we're ready to power up. The, there's an all time high, really, with excitement. I mean, even equally or even better than when we had the football program return, right? Yeah, it feels that way. And, and when we announced Trent Dilfer as our head football coach, <laughs> I mean, man, I can't tell you the number of people that have stopped me around town, excited about it, people that I've never met, our own fans and uh, our student athletes, the members of our football team that were here last year. Uh, they're, they're just over the moon about it, really have enjoyed practice and his style and so I think we've all got a lot to look forward to. Well there is a lot of excitement there. July 1st the AAC and UAB become one. Director of Athletics Mark Ingram in studio to talk about that. Good job. Congratulations. Thank you man. That's a team effort by all of us and it's a victory for all of us and it's going to be great for the city and bringing better opponents here that attract more fans and, and more attendance and that's, that's good for everybody. Well said indeed. We've still got plenty more coming your way on WBRC Fox 6 News at noon. Stay with us.